Hey, hey, everybody. Monkey Puzzle here. And today I am at Atlas on the Iron Geeks unofficial server. And I want to do some testing today of the various speeds of the sails in Atlas. And I'm going to do it specifically on the galleons. Now, there are videos out there where people have done testing of these, but they're a bit dated at this point. There have been some updates to the sails. I haven't seen any videos since then. So I want to check it out, especially because I've heard a rumor that on official, everybody is using handling sails now in lieu of speed sails because they're supposed to be actually faster than speed sails now. I don't know. So I've got two galleons here, a PVE and a PVP galleon, but they're too different to test. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do first, before we even get started, is I'm going to make two galleons so they're exactly the same. So I'm going to go gather all the mats, grind them out, get them built, two exactly the same galleons, and we will do some testing. So I'll see you then. All right, I got that done. And we've got two galleons here ready to be launched. And a Raleigh is over there willing to I'm help the do the race. Ship. On the faster <laughs> ship, he thinks. <laughs> it's gotta be. So rebel that he is, he has picked the one with the six handling sails. Handling's so, always the better ones. Just saying. So he's got six <laughs> handling sails. This one has six speed sails. There's a third kind of sail called the weight sail. So for folks who don't know really quickly, speed sails are about speed. Six speed sails is supposed to be the fastest. Handling sails are about catching the wind in uh, more directions. So you can have a larger degree spread to catch the wind with, but they're not as fast, theoretically. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> This is about the rumor that they're actually adding their speed now more effectively than the speed sails are. So we'll have to, we'll find that out in a second. And then the third kind, the weight sails, will add more weight to your ship at the cost of speed. But we're going to do a little testing with those too. But first, this is the main race right here. So, yep. Uh, we got to drop we these gotta, ships. Go ahead. We got to name them though. We got to. We got to name them. Okay. What are we going to name so, them? So I've got I've got a couple options. You got to pick which ones you like the best, okay? Okay. I have three three kind of sciency ones and one that's not sciency. Uh, <laughs> Mulder and Scully. Okay. Mulder. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Oh my god, it's from X Files. Okay. Uh, Watson and Crick. Oh, I like okay. that one. Jekyll and Hyde. Ah. Or 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 not the science one, Waldorf and Sattler from uh, the Muppets, the, the grumpy old Muppets. Oh, I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a hard choice. <laughs> I'd say either Watson and Crick or, well, nobody's gonna know Waldorf and Sadler. All right, so Watson and Crick it is, easy enough. So let's launch these beasts. Okay, so, so which one are you gonna be? I'll be Watson. Okay, so PVE Watson, this is PVE Crick. Release ship. <laughs> Not a very noble really sounding funny. name. Is it Crick just like in Cricket? Yeah. Okay. For folks who don't know, those are the guys who discovered DNA. All right. So we have a way we're going to try to start the race the most fairly because beyond overall speed, once the sails are all, all the way up, the sails will actually go up at different rates. So one of us right. might get a head start on the other. So we have discovered that these uh, harpoons that you can put in blisters, when ships are underway, they'll actually stop them to it. It's like a dead stop point. So I'm gonna do that. And now we're gonna see if we can raise our sails. Yep, I can definitely do mine. Like that, yeah. So we'll both start with our sails completely raised. And we there's a little nuance to this, but we're both going to try to get our sails uh, as parallel with the wind as possible. Okay, I'm good, I think. So, so once, yours are f once yours are down, you let me know and I'll release the bolt. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't release it, but all right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> on the plus side, they're both all the way down. And on the plus side, 
I am winning. Yep, so you got initial speed for sure. So we both I'm did the um, sextant minigame before this. Yep. And we can see our speed up in the top. I'm still increasing. Okay, I'm, I'm equal out at about 14.4 is where I'm equaled out at now. I'm up above 19 and still increasing. Okay, so that's a pretty quick direct thing. The speed sales are still faster for sure. Yeah, because I am no. holding steady at fourteen four, and we made sure the weight was the same between both ships. Absolutely, yeah. We even got a little stone to make sure that we're yeah. exactly the same weight. We have exactly the same number of crew. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I need to throw one of these bolts overboard. Oh, oh no. okay. That's that's a whole pound or whatever different. Crap. <laughs> all right, throw one bolt over and see if you get any speed. Yeah, I don't think so, but all right. And yes. the test is almost over because I'm about to hit an island. But about 19.25, right. 19.3 is my top speed. What's Put your top 14. speed? 14.5. Yep. So I did get a little faster by throwing the one thing overboard. Okay. So we figured out that that is not true. So we're going to get set up for another race. Um, and we'll bring you right back when we've got that one going. Uh -huh. Okay. So we got set up again. Raleigh has harpooned me this time. I threw one oh, harpoon oh. away, so we'd be exactly the same weight. We're both at a 4513.9. Yep. And this time, Raleigh's got five speed sails and one handling sail. So we're basically going to see how much adding, adding one handling sail slows him down. Oh, that's busted already. I guess they have a time limit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay, I guess well, that's the nerf okay, on that's, us. That's what happened for us, okay. Because okay, yeah, before, so, we were able to just kind of hold on to each other. So toss another one, and I'll get this shot over. And we okay, can and just then, rock our sails then as soon as... Uh, yep. Okay, raising sails. Okay. Yeah, that handling sail goes up a lot faster. Yeah. All right, All right. lined up on the wind. A little bit this way. Same here. And that, sh that should just break for us, if, yeah. if our new theory is correct. Your sails are just a little bit behind mine, but no, they're fully down now. All right, you guys will just break it yourself then if you want. Okay, I'm just actually waiting to see if oh, it there breaks. It goes. There it goes, yep. Yeah. All right, so speed's pretty close still. It does yeah. look, though, I, I'm, I'm obviously falling behind a little bit. Yep, just a little bit, so... One handling sail does sacrifice a little speed. So if it was true that the handling sails surpassed the speed sails, um, there's some sort of glitch. It's not true anymore. We have just yeah, proven okay. that. We I'm did uh, get some levels 16. on our ships. We added it to weight. I just got another level. But we both added the same number of levels. So yeah. our overall speed may be faster, but the relative speed is still going to be the same. And we're about to go through the server wall. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a pretty good test, man. Uh, let's get on the other side of the server wall and get up to full speed. And then uh, just bring people back to see what our full knots are. Uh, okay. So I am at full speed on mine, it looks like. With the wind that I'm at right now, 15.7, 15.8. Yeah, and I'm at 16, about 16.5. Yeah, so you're just barely inching ahead of me still. All right, so I'm going to lower sails. We're going to catch up, let Raleigh catch up, and we're going to do another test for science. This time I want to see how much speed he loses with uh, one weight sail. All right, you want to toss the harpoon this time and I'll shoot you? Uh, yep, I have, so I've got one weight sail and five speed sails. That's right. Let's put one of these off, toss that in the water. All right. I feel right. a little bad wasting those harpoons, but definitely need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing this in creative, folks. We're everything we're using will be gathered. Okay. All right, so we're raising sails. Sails are open. And let me match my angle. We lost a little wind speed in this server compared to the last one, but that's fine. Right. Hopefully, it hasn't changed much since the last test. All right, you were, it's nighttime too. 
Yeah, and we're I'm losing the sun. Just now full. Okay, full sail now. And there we go. Came up a little All bit. All right, so we're seeing how much speed is lost by one weight sail. So you are definitely still taking the lead, mm -hmm. inching ahead. And I am maxed out at 13.5. Okay, I'm, I'm 13, at 14 point, mm, point three something. Goes up to maybe point four. So you lose about a knot. Yeah. With the weight sail. All right. So if you want to go fast, speed sails are definitely still the thing. Stupid speed sails. <laughs> we got one more <laughs> test for you guys. We got to get set up for. We w forgot when he had all handling sails, we also wanted to test the turning radius and how much better turning radius you get for that. So we're going to get set up for that, get back in the daylight, and meet you back for that final test. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got set up for that. I'm harpooning him. We're going to raise Ooh. sails. And he is all handling sails again. We're turning left, right? Yes. That's port, you landlubber. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? So and then once we... How... Go, Go ahead. So we're just going to test and see how fast the turning is on these to see if that is actually a speed boost for that part or not. Yeah. How, how much tighter his turning radius is. There's going to be some fudge factor to the test because we're going to have to keep our... Uh, sail sort of trimmed with the wind same time but we're both holding left on the rudder okay I'm gonna adjust my sails now holding left on the rudder me too adjust my sails okay that's as tight as my sails will go so I'm done adjusting and he's definitely leaving me I'm making a much bigger circle than he is yeah <laughs> there so, are some ships of the damned up here. So he's, yeah, <laughs> and his reward for a tighter circle is he's going to turn right into them. <laughs> yeah. My evil trick. But yeah, so this is this is much much faster of a turn. I'm yeah. gonna like I'm gonna switch my sails over now to the other side because I can grab wind again. Right. And I am almost perpendicular to you now. Yep. Yeah. And. I could switch my sails, but it won't make much difference. So we can't say by exactly how many degrees, but we can say that for sure the handling sails turn tighter. At least six of them do. So I assume that it's a matter of degree uh, proportion for each one. Um, I'm going to see if I can loop back around and get back on the inside of you again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm still trying to catch the wind. <laughs> if we were really thorough, we would do that again with just one handling sail. But I think you guys get the point. So we didn't find out anything different than the standard knowledge. But we had been told that this had changed. Yeah, the but current uh, in-game meta for like the PvP stuff has been almost like 100% handling sales all the time uh, because the the theory was that their speed boost was stacking where the speed sales ones did not, and that is definitely not the case. Oh, I'm still turning. I can't see you at all. I, I, I pulled a full circle, man. I'm back to turning back towards the island again. <laughs> man. I'm doing donuts over here. So there is a kind of speed boost in that regards if you're turning a lot. There you are over there. That he's back to where we started already. Because I, even though I'm going faster, I'm tracking a much bigger circle than he is. So I'm and going I, a lot farther than he is. And I am almost back to full green again uh, <laughs> on the, uh, the the wind again. So, so yeah. I could see actually how in a ship battle that would be a big advantage. Because you are literally turning circles around me. Right, so, so that would be, you know, not, at that point, it's not about speed anymore. It's about the maneuverability of the ship. And I get that for the meta then. Yeah, I do too. Because you can show different flanks of your ship and cannons that are ready to fire and so on. And literally, he is going faster than me because he can 
go less distance. So if you're getting across the map, I guess the speed sails are the thing. If you are in a ship to ship fight, all handling sails may not be the worst thing. Yeah, buddy. Science. Science. All right. Are we done? Oh, we're done. We're done. All right, folks. We are done. Thank you for watching to the end of this test. And catch you on the flip side. That's right. Bye bye. Now I'm completely stalled. Here comes. He's going to shoot me. Oh. <laughs> Rapping speed. No. Bye bye. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's quite the difference. Yeah, you'd be coming up on me and. I mean, this damage. technically, I, I could have done this for the third time just now. Because if I would have actually been tracking you directly instead of just doing a hard turn again. Right, well, you did two circles for my one. Yeah. That right, is pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. Yep. Obviously, straight speed, you know, obviously the straight speed sales are going to win that, but. Yeah, like I'm trying to turn and I'm going to hit this rock. Ha, 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 ha.